Breaking news, this just in. Scientists have found an invasive species called hydrilla. Scientists believe that the hydrilla can be found in southern states. The hydrilla's scientific name is hydrilla verticillata. It is in the kingdom plantae, the phylum magnoliophyta, the class liliopsida, and the family hydrocaryoticeae. The hydrilla is uh, natively from Africa, Australia, and parts of Asia. It was uh, introduced to Florida in, in the 1960 aquarium trade. It can be found in tons. The effect that this plant has on people is that it can cost very much. Hydrilla is an invasive plant that can invade lakes and destroy fish habitats. This can cost people money because it costs money to clean out the hydrilla. People can also get tangled and get serious injuries. The hydrilla affects other animals in the ecosystem by taking away nutrients, making it harder for them to live. The hydrilla is a producer in the food web, uh, that, and it is affecting it because the hydrilla is taking over other plants' territory, which are also producers for the fish, um, because, as we said before, they're taking the nutrients away, and that means uh, that the fish are dying off because there's not as much plant. The first reason for success is this plant can grow in much darker areas than the native plants cannot live in. This plant also can live in almost any freshwater environment, no matter the amount of nutrients. It may stop the growth of fish and use up all the oxygen in the lake. And now we will be going over to Sally for the weekly weather.